Hello, scholars. So this week we're going to learn about texture and how to use texture in art. So this week we're going to create a project called Textured Monsters. First, what we're going to do is write our name on the top of the page, either left side or right side. So I'm going to write my name on the right side. The paper is going to be vertical, or what we call is portrait in art. And then we're going to flip it over. For my textured monster, I'm going to I'm going to start off with drawing the head, and the head is going to be a circle. So I have this medium-sized cat that I'm going to use, and if you have one at home, you can use that. And I'm just going to draw the in the top of the monster, and I'm going to draw a long U shape, a big U shape for the monster's body. So we have the head and the body. Now I'm going to draw the arms, which is a long U shape and another long U shape. Now I'm going to draw the hands. So the hands are going to be four fingers. We're going to draw four fingers for our hand. And the hand has a curved shape. So that's the right side. Now we're going to, do, we're going to go on the left side. So now we have the monster's fingers. We're going to do the uh, legs and the feet. So for the legs, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a half a C. Draw half a C. And then we're going to draw the feet. And the feet are going to have three toes. Three toes for the feet. And see, I went from the top all the way to the bottom of the page. So my monster's going to be pretty big on the page. And here's the monster's feet. Now we're going we're gonna to start off with the eyes of the monster. I'm going to choose my monster to be... Uh, hmm... I have a couple. I have a. I have a couple of options in mind. I want to make my monster really mean, so I'm going to draw using this this line here. Two diagonal lines. And I'm going to draw two half circles. So I'm going to use my circle pattern, and I'm going to draw. So I got two half circles, and I'm going to make the lines longer, come out more, and then I'm going to I'm going to make a circle inside. And this is the monster's eyes. Now I'm going to make a silly face. And I'm going to make uh, I'm gonna make a tooth here. And I'm going to make some now I want to make the texture of the body. And I'm gonna use different, I'm gonna use different visual textures inside of the body. 
So also what I'm going to do is make a U shape inside of the body so we can do so we can add some more textures. So I'm going to start off with the inside first with some bare skin which are some wavy small lines. I add some wavy small lines, so that's called the bare texture. Now I'm going to do the fish texture, and these are small curved lines. And you can pick your own textures. And I'm going to pick the sheep texture for the arms. And I'm going to pick the elephant texture for my legs. And I'm going to use a ruler for the legs. If you don't have a ruler, that's okay. You could just start drawing the lines. And now I'm going back over the lines. Now I have the legs, the arms, and the body done for my textured monsters. I am going to now add some hair to my textured monsters. I'm going to add some horns for my monster. And I'm going to add some zigzags for the horns. And now I'm going to take a marker, a black marker. You can use a black crayon or color pencil. If you don't have black, you can use brown. Blue, purple, gray, anything that is a dark color. And I'm just going to outline the whole monster portrait.
I'm going to first color the small parts first. So my hands and feet are going to be orange and you can use different uh, different color for the hands and feet. I'm going with this light color here. And the other side. And on camera, I'm going to show just the small parts. And then you're going to decide on what colors you're going to color for the face, the arms, the, the legs. And now this part. I'm thinking about coloring the horns yellow. So the horns are yellow. You can see I'm outlining the area first and then coloring inside. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. And now I'm going to color the rest on my own using the different colors that I have. Here is the finished textured monster colored. I use different colors for each of the uh, monsters part of the body. I also um, made sure that each part is colored without any white spots and that the textured monster is from the top of the page drawn from all the way to the bottom of the page.